Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Got something different and very beautiful to show you this time. And those are these seven inch vinyl figures in the Disney Showcase collection made by the World of Miss Mindy. Before I show you them though, I'd like to thank the World of Miss Mindy for sending me these figures to try out and show you free of charge. So thank you very much to them. I'll put a link at the end of this video and in the description below if you'd like to know where you can buy these amazing figures. And the first one I'm going to show you is Mickey Mouse with Pluto. They are in this windowed box so you can see them even if you don't want to take them out of the box. But these are so cool that I'm definitely going to take them out. And here is Series 1. I like how much thought they put into the little accessory or the little buddy that comes with them. Like, here's Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And she's holding her dingle hopper. Really, really like that detail. And yeah, I like the packaging as well. And thankfully, it's not taped. So you can take these in and out of the box without ruining the packaging. And here's Mickey and Pluto out of the box. And I'm really, really liking this old-timey style that Miss Mindy designs these in. Really like those old-fashioned pie eyes. And I really like all these highlights in blue, yellow, and white on the ears, on the head, on the bow, the nose, and the eye. A little bit of highlight on the shoes as well. A lot of great little details on an otherwise kind of a simple character, but really like all these details she added to it. That bow is just very beautiful. All painted really, really well. Very clean. Definitely a very, very nice kind of a collector's art toy. And I think the yellow, the blue, the red with the black and white, like those primary colors with the black and white makes this very like visually appealing and would look great on a shelf. Would definitely stand out. Loving this extra little detail of the note with the exclamation point. Makes it look like he's whistling. Very, very nice. And I like that they use different um, levels of gloss on the paint as well. Like the white face is flat, but the gloves are nice and shiny. And they're designed like with a tripod style. So one, two, three points where it stands so they're pretty solid they stand on their own and here's pluto he also has highlights on the nose and eyes a little heart on the tongue that's a nice little detail you know when your pet dog licks you it means he loves you and he's got some musical notes here so it kind of looks like the way they tie these together is that mickey is whistling and Pluto is listening to his whistle. Um, that's why there's notes here, notes on his mouth. That's why I assume, and he's holding his ears up like that. Looks very, very nice. And here's the Cheshire Cat. And he is from Series 2. And in Series 2, you can get Jack Skellington. With Zero, Sally, Alice, and also Jessica Rabbit. And here's the Cheshire Cat and the Momrath. And man, does this guy is so solid and he's so big. I mean, seven inches. This is a nice, solid vinyl collectible. Um, I know there's other companies that have... 8-inch vinyls that can be very, very expensive, like $100, you know? But I think these are a very great deal for how nice they look and how high-end and creative these designs look. Like I really like the liberty she takes, like putting the polka dots in the eyes. Really, really liking that. Like the little collar on him. And look how big that tail looks. Very, very nice. And here you can see the tripod design again because the feet aren't flat. He's on his tippy toes because 
The Cheshire Cat does kind of float around, so I like that detail of the tippy toes. And they even put his paws underneath there, which they didn't have to do because once he's standing, you don't really see that. But they do take the time to put in every detail. A lot of times on some vinyl figures, the feet aren't detailed in. Really, really like the look of this guy as well. And as you can see, he stands because of that clever design. And here's his little buddy. If you remember in the in the movie, you know, the Momrats kind of like they're in that short little scene where they kind of point Alice in the right way. Um, they won't they warn her not to step on him. So they're kind of looking up because they're always worried about getting stepped on. Simple, but they also put little highlights and things in this one. Those pie eyes. Looks very good. Looks looks like a very, very nice expensive collectible. And they sent me one more, Jessica Rabbit. Also from series two. Here is Jessica Rabbit and Roger Rabbit out of the box. And this one might be my favorite. Just looks amazing. Look at that hair sculpt. Looks so good. Love that sultry look on her face. Love all these little details. The hearts, of course, because it's Jessica Rabbit. Everybody falls in love with her. Musical notes because she sings. Curvaceous body, of course. Really loving how they used a nice big bow on her back to make her stand. As you can see, her feet are pretty little. And they're pointed. I think my favorite part is the way that eye is drawn. Lots of colors. She's starry-eyed. That's a nice little detail. Very, very nicely done. I even like the little blush right here above her nose. Just all around, nicely painted, nicely sculpted. Her little hands are done very well. And I like that this one's on her hip like that. They really got the feeling of Jessica Rabbit in this figure. And of these minifigures, I feel like this Roger Rabbit is the most detailed when it comes to the colors. There's his tail. Also got a little patch. He's got the hard eyes. He's looking at the love of his life, Jessica Rabbit. They really didn't skimp on the colors on this one. This one's really small, really detailed. It looks really... Really good, yeah, this one, I don't know. These all look really good, to be honest. Like, hard for me to pick a favorite, but this one does look pretty cool. All right, guys, so that was a small glimpse into the world of Miss Mindy. She not only designs these vinyl figures, she has all kinds of figures. Like I said earlier, there'll be a link in the description below and at the end of the video, where you can click around her site and see all the things she has to offer. There's also an interesting bio about Miss Mindy on the website, so check that out. I myself am very impressed by these figures. I think they'd make an excellent gift for any vinyl art toy collector because they are done in such a beautiful and unique style. That's really the strong point of these figures. And of course they're nice and big. And the little mini figure they come with aren't just an afterthought. They're very clever and they're also done very well. I like everything about these figures. The only thing I would like better is if the box they came in actually said the character's name on the front. It's just a generic box. That's the only drawback, that's a small thing, because I really don't think these figures should be left in the box. But I do like when the boxes aren't just generic like this. That said, I do like the circusy kind of red curtain design on them. But yeah, other than that, I think these figures are perfect. So thank you again to the World of Miss Mindy for sending these to me free of charge. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about these figures, if you have any, if you want any now, what other characters you think they should make. I myself would really like to see a Maleficent in this design. That would be awesome. Or maybe even Tiger Lily. Like always, thanks for watching. I appreciate you and happy holidays.